This is a tutorial on how to use graph features on a calculator to find intercepts of a function. Now let's use the given equation here as an example. We have y equals 0.5x squared plus 1.5x minus 5. Well in order to use graph features on the calculator we need to first put this equation into our y equals. So let's do that. So we have 0.5 x squared plus 1.5x minus 5. Now let's graph it. So here we could see a pretty good graph of our equation and we want to use it to find its various intercepts. For example its vertical intercept as well as its horizontal intercepts. Now let's start off by finding the vertical intercept. Now for a vertical or y-intercept, we know it's going to be when the function crosses the y-axis or hits the vertical axis. And for our particular graph, it looks like it happens at about right here. Now in order to get that point, we need to know its x and y values. Well if we're on the vertical axis or the y-axis, we know that our x value will be 0 because we're not on the positive side of the x-axis or the negative side. We're right on the center, giving us an x value of 0. So from there, we just need to find the y value. Now a way that we could find that y value using features on our graph is to use trace. So we'll go to trace, and for us it automatically put the cursor on x equals 0, giving us its corresponding y value. Now if for some reason the trace feature didn't automatically put you at x equals 0, you would always type in 0 and then hit enter, and it'll take you straight to that point. So now we know our vertical intercept. It's at the point 0, negative 5. Now let's move on to find our horizontal intercepts. Now this time we want to look when the graph, or our function, hits the x-axis, or the horizontal axis. So for us, it looks like that happens at about right here and right here. Now there's a few different ways we could use the graph to find those two points. One way is to find the intersection between our function and the line y equals 0. Because the line y equals 0 is the same thing as this x-axis right here. Because if you're at any point along the x-axis, your y value is going to be 0. Now if you want to use the intersection feature on this calculator, you can refer to the tutorial that we have on using that feature. But as for now, we're going to use a different method, and that's going to be using calc. So to get to calc, we need to hit second, and then the trace button. And for us, we want to choose the second option, which is zero, which refers to the term of finding zeros of your function. Finding a zero for your function is the same thing as finding the horizontal intercepts. So we'll choose that option. Now when we're using this, we can only do one intercept at a time. So we need to first choose which intercept we want to start with. So for us, let's start with the left one. So we'll go towards that area. Now what the zero feature does is it sets bounds to search for the intercept. So we're going to set bounds to the left and to the right of the intercept, and then the calculator will search in between those bounds to find it. So if you notice in the bottom left-hand corner, it asks for the left bound. So what we need to do is go a little bit to the left of where our intercept is, and then hit enter. Now you may notice this black arrow at the top of the calculator. Now what that means is the calculator will look somewhere to the right of that arrow for the intercept, since it's pointing to the right. Now you may also notice down at the bottom left hand corner now it asks for a right bound. So we go back to the general area of our intercept and then go a little bit to the right of it and then hit enter. And now at the top you could see another black arrow but this time pointing to the left. So now the calculator is going to search in between those two arrows for the intercept. Now right now the calculator asks us if we want to guess where it's at. Now you don't have to. 
can if you want, but you could just simply hit enter and it'll find it for you. So now from this, we could see that this x-intercept occurs at x equals negative five. And of course our y value will be zero. So one of our horizontal intercepts is negative five, zero. Now let's find the other one. So right now, we're not in the zero feature anymore, so we need to go back to it again. So we'll hit second, trace, and then go to zero. Now this time, instead of looking for our left intercept, we want to look for the right one. So let's scroll over there. Now again, we need to set the left and right bounds for it. So first we need to do the left bound. So we'll go a little to the left of it, and then hit enter. Now we need to find the right bound, or set a right bound. So we'll go a little to the right of the intercept, and then hit enter. And again, the calculator is going to search in between those two arrows. So we could just hit enter. Now for this intercept, we could see that our x value will be 2 when y is 0. So our second horizontal intercept is 2, 0. And that's how you use the graph to find intercepts on a calculator.